Welcome to this second tutorial uh, about the ESP32 with the servo. So the project will be that if I press this button, let me start the simulation. Okay. If I press this button, I can increase the angle here. And if I press this button, I will lower the angle. So up and down. Okay increasing the angles of the servo, decreasing the angles of the servo. To start this project, I would like you guys to visit the ESPBlockly.com slash servo 180 degree. You'll have an explanation about what is the servo motors and how to control those servo motors. Okay. So this is the introduction of the servo motor, how to control the servo motor, types of servo motor, and start how to program the servo motor. And this is the basic schematic diagram that we'll be using to simulate our project. When, when it comes to the code, just copy the code, start a new project or just delete everything and paste your new code just be aware that you when start simulation it will tell you that this servo library this servo library is a wrong library for this ESP32 so what you need to do is to go to the library manager you need to search for ESP servo Okay, just for servo, ESP servo, ESP32 servo. This is the library. Just download this library. I already have it in my list. Okay, I will do that again. ESP32 servo. I already have it now. And just go to the code and rename this library ESP32 servo. Now start connecting your diagram based on the given pins for the servo, it's pin 21, so you connect the signal pin, this signal pin, this one, of the servo to pin 91. Connect the ground to ground and connect the voltage or the VN to the VN of the ESP32. Now let's go to the buttons. So those two buttons are pull up buttons or the pins are pull up pins. First one is number five, which is this one, number, number five. And the other one is number 18. After that, connect one side of the button to the other side and then connect those sides to the ground. Just keep in mind that those pins here are connected together and those pins here are connected together. So when I press my button, it connects the higher pins to the lower side, the higher side to the lower side. When I press, it connects the higher side to the lower side. The same goes for this. Those two pins are connected together internally inside the button. And those two pins are connected internally inside the button. When I click the button, I'm connecting the higher side to the lower side. Now, after connecting the whole thing, let's simulate my project. Okay, so when I press high, okay, now this is a negative, a negative one, which means it's the maximum here of the servo. So I will lower this. So the servo will start, if I keep pressing this, will start from zero to 180 degree. And will stop 
whatever I increase, it will keep in this angle, 180 degree. Now I can lower to zero. I can increase to some other value. This is it for this project. I hope you guys can build it and enjoy it.